hello and welcome back guys and welcome to this new flutter tutorial series number two and in this tutorial i'm going to tell you about stateful and stateless widgets so before i tell you anything let's go to the official flutter documentation and see what they have to say so this is the official Flutter documentation and in this documentation they state that uh, there are two type of widgets one stateful and stateless widget so what's the point some widgets are stateful and some widgets are stateless if a widget changes the user interacts with it for example it is stateful a widget state consists of a value that can change like a slider current value or whether a checkbox is checked or not a widget state is stored in a state object separated, separating the widget state from its appearance. When the widget changes, the state object is called set state, telling the framework to redraw the widget that is using the state. So a stateless widget has no internal state to manage. For example, icon, icon buttons, text are the example of stateless widget. Whereas a state widget is dynamic, the user can interact with a stateful widget. For example, by typing in the edit text or text field, by clicking on text box, radio, button, etc. So if you are able to interact with the widget, then the widget is called stateful. And if you are not able to interact and all and the widget is only used for displaying stuffs, then it is called it is set to as stateless widget. Now let's understand what a state is. A state is something that holds the data depending on which we can do something. Now let's see what a stateless and stateful widget in a simple term. If a widget just displays let's say a card with a title and body then the overall widget is said to be stateless because it just shows the title and the body. But let's say you are creating a social media app which contains a widget like a button in it and then the widget is stateful since tapping on the like will change the state of like to either like or unlike so enough talk and let's go to coding i will show you a sample demo of what a stateful and a stateless widget so let's go to the coding section okay so this is where we were earlier and you can see that my app which extends a stateless widget is a stateless widget in fact because it just shows our text with a hello world from flutter 101 now i will show you I'll, now i will give you a demonstration of how you can create your own stateful widget so let's go to coding so i will be creating another type of widget namely let's say light toggler and i'll do it here so typing stateful widget which is a handy feature in the vs code so I'll giving I'll be giving the name light toggler. Z L E R light toggler. So as you can see, how you can distinguish a stateful and stateless widget is just by seeing this. The extend after seeing the word after state extend word. If the class extends stateless widget, then by default it is a stateless widget, stateless widget, which indicates that it cannot have any state. So, and if class extend a stateful widget like this and it is a stateful widget and it can hold some state so let me uh, let me make a demo uh, um, let me include a column so a column is something that holds our data in a horizontal fashion like stacking one up to the another so I'm adding a children to it it takes a children and anything you add to it is stacked one after another so let me give you a demo so if i am adding text we say hello flutter and just copying and pasting it for more than one time let's say four times then after running which i can do by just pressing f5 in the vs code what this will do is this will run my app in a debugger mode and you will get this widget uh, which, which I have 
let's move to the right side so that I can see my code better okay so after running this we can see nothing is changed since we haven't included the state stateful visit here so I'm going to, go to add the stateful visit here as a light toggler and if I save you can see in the right side that our text has been stacked for one after another in the vertical orientation now even though we have added the center to it it hasn't been centerized so to add to make this in center aligned what we have to add is max size main axis size which we have to give main axis size as mean what is does is this takes just the enough space required by the widget so let me go further and add something more let me delete these three text field and add a padding padding with is inset all sorry is inset all of 10.0 so that we can have a spacing between what we are going to add now and for toggling the state and changing the like I'm going to add a raised button button and now this takes a child and I'm going to give it a text with the name of toggle like now what this uh, requires is another parameter called on press which is a function and here we can toggle the state so currently we don't have any state so I'm going to add here a state saying bool and light and initial I'm going to give it a value of false and depending upon this I'm going to change the text here from if oh sorry if our like like is true then we are going to show light and if it's not like then we are going to show not light now we have a state called light now to change the light state what we have to do is we have to call the set state function that is provided in the state full visit now what we have to do here is just change the value of like to to invert light saving this and what it will do is when we click on the toggle button it will just change the light from light or not light so basically this is how you can create a simple stateful widget what you do is you just add a state up here and you can change it inside the stateful widget inside like this using the set state function so basically this is how you can create a stateful widget thank you for watching so in the next tutorial i'm going to show you how you can create your own widget